So let's measure resistance. Um, the other day I bought some, I bought a bag of LEDs. Let me zoom in on that. Uh, some white diffused LEDs. I have a little lighting project that I'm working on and I needed some, so I got a bag of them. And I didn't know it, but they came with resistors. Okay. So what these do is they limit the current into the LED so it doesn't burn up. And here's a uh, here's a little test circuit that I made up. I've got the resistor connected to the negative side. It doesn't matter if negative or positive. And then here's the positive side of the LED. Um, the resistor that came with it is a, it says it's four, 430, 430 ohms. So we'll, we'll check that here in just a second. Let's, let's put some power on this and see if it lights up. Uh, hopefully it lights up. I'm going to clip the plus, I got six volts here, plus there and minus on this one. Yeah, it works works good real good um, very bright so what the resistor does is it limits the amount of current through the LED if I plug this straight onto the LED it's gonna get real bright real hot I don't think I really want to do that I mean I could but I don't think I really want to um, so this limits the current to a safe amount so that I don't burn out the light okay so let's check the resistance. What I'll do is take the power off. Take the power off my circuit. I've got my meter here. I'll put it on I'll put it on ohms. Okay. I've got my probes here. Uh, it works better if I use alligator clips to measure it, but uh, I'll just give it a try. What I'll do is I'll push down on this point right here to hold it in place, and I'll bring this probe down to, to uh, the other side of the resistor, I get 442. Well, it's moving. Hang on. Let me get a better... There we go. 427. So the package said 430. Let me bring that back into the picture. 430 ohms. Okay. 1% tolerance. That's impressive. 1% uh, of 430 is 4.3. So it... That could be as low as 426 or so and still be within their 1% tolerance. And it is. It's 429, 428. That's uh, three, two, two or three ohms of difference there. That's actually pretty good, especially because I got them for free. Well, I, I guess not really free because I bought them but didn't know it. Yeah, but these are good resistors. Now, most resistors that you find are more of like a 5 or 10% variety. They're not extremely precise. Uh, they, they work. They do the same thing. But uh, they're not really precision components. This one's not bad. So that's how you measure resistance. Power off across each side of the circuit. Now, what if I tried to measure it across or through the LED? What would happen? Let's give it a try. I'm going to put the probe here and go to the, to the plus side of the LED I'm not getting anything there. Let's switch the, the probes around. Put minus here and plus here. I'm still not getting anything. How about, how about just the light itself? Let's try the light itself. No, nothing. I'm going to switch the probes around, try it the other way. No, nothing at all. So uh, what's going on here is Remember, this is a light-emitting diode. It's not a an, a lamp like a like a flashlight bulb. Although most of them nowadays are LEDs, but the old the old light bulbs were incandescent lamps. They actually had a filament inside, which was a piece of wire. So you could measure resistance on those. But this is a diode, so it can't easily measure resistance. It it doesn't have a a, a simple resistor inside. So let's put that aside. Let's look at a potentiometer. Uh, for some reason I had I have a pot mounted on a little plastic lid. I don't know why but I just found it. Uh, here is 
Let's see if this has markings on it. I don't see much of anything there. It probably has a value on it, but I can't easily see it. So let's just find out what it is. So here it is. I'll put the probe across the outside, the two outside pins, okay? And I get, how much do I get there? 1,027 ohms. This is a 1K pot, okay? If I go across the center in one end, uh, 1,030, that must be turned all the way, one way. Let me turn the pot. In fact, let me get some alligator clips. Give me just one second here. Uh, it's, it's this way I can turn it. You can watch the value change as I turn it. Okay, so I'm going to clip my alligator clips to the, the outside and the center. Okay. Let's turn this back over. So here's my pot. If I turn it, get a variable resistance. Okay. It should go down to zero. Oh, there's continuity. Continuity kicked in, and it won't stop beeping. So I'm going to back away from that. Uh, this meter has an auto range function. If it senses anything below 30, it thinks it's continuity and starts to beep. Uh, if I had a a meter with a resistance range on it, it, it would just go down to zero and, and wouldn't beep at me. Um, but anyway, that's how you measure resistors, just simple fixed resistors, or also how you measure a potentiometer resistance. You have to make sure the power is off though, and, and if you want to have a, a an accurate reading, you can't have any, you can't have this connected in the circuit because other components around it will affect the measurements you take. So in order to get an accurate resistance measurement, you need to lift one side of the resistor. In other words, take it out of the circuit. Uh, so, you know, if you're troubleshooting something, like with this LED, for example, pretty simple, but let's say it's not working right. Uh, if this is soldered onto a board, I would try my best to, uh, what I would do is I'd just I'd, I'd cut this wire right here and bend it up to get access to the resistor. I can always fold it back down and solder it back together. Okay, so I can always fix that. Uh, that but, but lifting the wire, breaking the circuit is the only way to get a, an accurate resistance measurement. Uh, you can test it with it in the circuit, but you won't get an accurate measurement, but you will find out if it's shorted or open. So you, you can look for the two extremes. If the resistor is burned, because it overheated and it shorts, you'll measure, uh, you know, zero or something dramatically less than 430. Um, if it gets too hot and opens, you'll measure nothing across there or maybe some high value because you're measuring other components around it. So sometimes you're, you're only looking for something unusual, uh, a reading that's just way off the charts. And other times, if you can lift one side of it, you can actually test to see what the part value is. Uh, notice it is color-coded, and it's hard to see the colors on there, but they use color, colored bands here to indicate the resistance of the part. Uh, there's a color code chart for resistors. You can Google that and get that information as well.